Welcome back to another episode of It's All Black and White. It is um, quite early this morning. I am just heading out to work, going to get ready in a second and then leave. Very, very busy day. Um, not going to be able to leave work till five or just after, so it's going to be a bit of a race to Bradford and then a late one. Um, getting home tonight before back in work tomorrow for another busy day. So, yeah, let's hope it's worth it. Jake and Jordan are coming with me today, so I'm going to save all my thoughts when we're in the car with them. We'll have a good discussion about what things um are happening knots at the minute and, and whether we're sort of may nod in or may nod out and um and i'll see you a bit later i've just picked um jordan and jake up then we're heading to bradford it's a bit of a rush from work but they they've met me at work i said i'll get their thoughts so we're going to find out what they think in a minute um on the podcast last thursday i said that I, I, my mind had been made up on Stuart maynard and the lads might have a different thought in a minute but my my thoughts are that there's no point getting rid of him now i mean we wouldn't get the manager we want in at this point with nine, ten games to go, whatever it is. We're not going to get a manager we want in. The owners are just going to wait anyway until the summer. So you either give Maynard an opportunity to still be the manager and maybe he could turn it around, or you go with Jim O'Brien, Joe Alves, Tom Wheel back in charge, which helps nobody because at the minute Jim's up, our, our, one of our best centre mids, putting in good performances. So I'd keep him. There is one sort of caveat to that. If, if I go to Bradford tonight or, you know, Salford at the weekend and you can clearly see that the players have just given up, at that point you get rid of him. But for me, I, I'm not seeing the players giving up. I'm seeing him being let down time and time again by individual mistakes. So I'm going to be main odd in until the end of the season or until the players show that they're not bothered anymore. I've got to agree with Tom. I don't think there's any way that we get rid of Maynard before the end of the season. I think regardless of how performances go, my personal opinion, I think playoffs is long gone. I don't think we'd have a shot at it anyway. I do agree as well with Tom that it's just it's been a lot of individual mistakes costing us in a lot of games. You know, we're giving away a ridiculous amount of penalties this season, and it's just it's just it's just petered out. It's just gone flat. So you know, I'd hope that um, I'd like to say we'd spark it back to life tonight with a bit of beach volleyball on this terrible Bradford pitch. But you know, I'm going to go for my customary nil nil. I sort of agree with these two in the sense that. Um, there's no point in getting rid of him now because it doesn't really change much. Um, we're not really going to get relegated and I don't think we're going to pick up enough form to to be able to challenge for playoffs. Um, so kind of this is a, a kind of job interview again, I suppose, in terms of seeing if he is good enough to take us forward after the season. Um, give him that chance now until the end of the season to see if he is is the right man to take us forward after after the season. But if it doesn't work out, then we, we have to look for a new manager uh, in the summer. But yeah, it, it kind of is his audition, I think, now to, to keep his job um, into next year. Parked up with about 20 minutes, well maybe 30 minutes till kick off. The team news is out. Robertson back in, obviously only a one game suspension because it was a double yellow. Uh, Slocum misses out through injury, so Ashby Hammond's back in. Um, other than that, good to see Jatta back in, well, still in the starting lineup after his assist and his goal. Can only be good for confidence. Maybe he can build on that uh, performance again. Um, but for me, that bench is incredibly weak and you'll have heard what we all said in the car. Let's be brutally honest. What's he supposed to do with a team this thin? Um, if he needs a game changer on that bench, he's got absolutely no one. And you could call it making excuses. And, you know, if that's your opinion, that, that's absolutely fine. Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. But that is, it's such a thin squad with no game changers. We've got to hope the starting 11 get it done. My score prediction, I think, I think I'm going to go 2-2. Quite a few uh, songs 
gonna screw up ain't no black spot on me. We'll see how they do. It's just shocking. Um, I'm still going 2-2. Three minutes in, but really good start from Nars. Andy Cook getting a little bit of stick from the away fans. Chat has looked brilliant in the opening few minutes, so it's a promising start, but we've seen this from Nars many times, haven't we? Great start for Nott, got to hold on to it now. A bit of confidence now. We had a corner straight after the goal. They've not really been back in the game. We need a second goal. I mean, that's why Nott's always need that second goal, don't we? We haven't had the two goal cushion for a long time. So, yeah, let's hope. Let's hope we can get a second one. Kick to Nott's. Jody stood over it. Edge of the box, a more good play for Crowley, turning his man inside out. It's a good range Robertson of stood over it as well, but what are we saying? Goal. I have a notification on my phone to say it's a goal. 2 0. Jody Jones, in off the ball. In, in off the ball. We need this. We really do this. Because we've made a few mistakes since, since the goal in the last four or five minutes. Straight into the wall, exactly what my phone told me. Into the wall, it's what my phone said. So it's still 1 0. Low opportunities, first one, Cook nearly puts out for a throw in. Next one, I think it's Smith up front for them. Gets too much room, and we are conceding a lot of chances. And I just said, a team that's you know in better form than Bradford would have scored by now. Um, but as it stands, you know, as, it's 1 0, and I say the same as I did the last two games. We need to scrape a win any possible way. Jack is on the side, looking, looking decent, he's giving it away. He's looking decent. Just safe, not to take in the corner quickly. It's a great save from the keeper from probably 25 yards out. Ah, oh, lucky. Maka picks the ball up. 1 2 with Crowley, put it in the box. Ah, very unlucky. Half time, lots one and all. George, not been bad, has it? No, we've uh, created a fair amount of chances, to be fair. I think we've done pretty well. We've uh, got at him a few times and um, also been a bit nervous in the back. But... I so my friends yes. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, so for me, I don't know about you, I think yeah. the keys to, to winning the game is Austin and Crowley. They've got acres of space. Their, the their pressing was not really working, is it? it? No, well, it did for a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Obviously, when you're really in the box. And intensity, but I don't think these are fit enough to do that. They, they look like they've already backed off from that press. Well, you'd be shattered playing on this pitch. Um, I'm going to tempt fate, but do you think we keep, keep the result up and straight we win? If we carry on playing like we are, I'd say we win. Yeah. Oh, no! I'm putting a little bit of pressure on here. Uh, 50 minutes in. But Jody having a bit of a field day down there. Um, let's, we're still going to errors. We have to get this win. Massive, massive win. If we can get it. Jazz is fantastic. Oh my goodness me, Robbo. We're just making errors on this pitch, but it's to be expected. That's the game done. That's the game done. That's the game done. That's the game done. Wow, unbelievable run from the, the Bradford defender. Wait, pass Robertson. Put in the box. Header looked like it's bottom corner and it's in the post. We've given Bradford some fans something to cheer about. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, they've woken up. Still 1 0. Still playing for his money from his club. 
completely all over them now. Chats had a few chances. Penalty appear way of the way. Journey whips the ball in. Northern corner for North. We've really got them penned in. Jack has been superb. He looks a bit tired now. As he will, but I keep him on as long as possible. 2 0. Short corner again. Relentless. We need even a third. Here we go. Journey whips it in. It's a great ball. It's kept alive by Kyle Cameron. Jody deadly, two assists again. Time crowd has been superb. He really has been good. I'll whip that in. He does. Great ball, Masker. They can't get the ball away. It's another corner for North. Now shot after shot after shot. They keep us having to work very hard. It might have time before the third comes. And that would really kill the game. 2 0 leaves, you never know, even. As much as we're dominating, oh, you never know. You never know. Jody superb, Jack superb, Mac is superb, Brown is superb, Aaron the Man's superb. Fantastic so far. A bit feisty. They're putting some late chances here. One on Macquarie, but it's done the Zanko and a very late one on Jody there. They've kind of had enough. Uh, 79 minutes on the clock. You, you've got to back us to hold on. Even with the four win, you've got to get this win. I mean, Jones enjoying himself. That all the players are. They've been superb, every single player. A few shaky moments, but on the whole, they've been brilliant. Got a free kick on the edge of the box. Ref sorted something out, uh, so it might take a while to take the free kick, but massive opportunity to put it in again. Not long to go, Jim is on for Jody. Uh, worked really, really hard. I'd like to see a couple more subs to break up in the last about five minutes. Uh, maybe Bostock on for Crowley, or Sam Austin's gone to ring that. So Bostock for Crowley, possibly. Uh, but do you know what? Sam yeah. Dwight, his guy's looking good. Uh, he hasn't played the amount of football that we're that the rest of the side have lately, but fantastic ball again from uh, Lewis Macari. Fantastic. Uh, glad, glad we've got him as a permanent. Um, but we're just seeing the clock uh, out now. Nothing silly. Nothing silly. Keep it short and sweet, lots to talk about Thursday. We've got Jordan here chatting to me about the playoffs. Hey. <laughs> Good look, he's excited. It was a great win. Uh it's not we're not we're not gonna make the playoffs unless it's something ridiculous. But what I saw there, you can't watch any of those clips, not one clip and tell me that those players aren't playing for, for the manager. I mean he, he needed that win and a 3-0 win at that. I, I didn't I didn't expect a 3-0 there. Look, there were, first half was a few touchy moments, but second half was superb. The players on the pitch today, Robertson, he was basically midfield in his own as Crowley and Austin were further forward. Robertson was unreal. Macari, unreal. That's before I get to Jatta. <sighs> what a performance. 90, 95 minutes, non-stop running. 
Uh, Maka, brilliant. Could have had a, a couple more goals as well. Jody, Unreal, Sam Austin. You know, I never started the season thinking he was going to be a starter, but he has to start for us. Uh, Aaron Deman, yeah. The way he's beating players at the minute, I just think, you know, he's, he's found some old form. Um, so, yeah, superb performance. 3 0, fully deserved. If you have enjoyed the video, um, please do leave a like and subscribe. But massive win for knots. Come on, you pies.